Okay, so let's talk about um, one serious issue that uh, I didn't really address before. Uh, you've said that players have um, depression and melancholy and they feel isolated. Uh, can you explain, you know, somebody's making uh, $50 million a year, they seem to be, you know, well respected by everybody. Why are they so depressed and isolated? Well, in, in, in all seriousness, what I've said is that it, when I, in, in talking about our players, I said, they're no more immune from mental illness than any other sector of our society. And I think, I'm sure people in this yeah. room know families firsthand that regardless of how much money you're making or your position in life or your family, that in some cases it's chemical, in some cases it's environmental, but that it cuts across, yeah. you know, Okay. all socioeconomic groups and and what's changing though in our league and 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 again i think this is it's it's wonderful that that players are now willing to talk about these things we had two high profile players demar Derozan, when he was still with the raptors and, and kevin love on the cleveland cavaliers who came out publicly and said they were suffering from depression and had issues with anxiety you know and i know firsthand they weren't the first players in our league suffering with issues like those, but they were certainly the first players, while they were current players in the NBA, to talk about it. And I think what, what, what and, and I've heard from so many mental health professionals that when, it really goes to the, to the heart of your question, when people who are perceived as having everything, and then especially in something, in professional sports where there's a certain machoism associated with it and, and a certain perceived toughness that, and, and I think the, the stigma historically has been suck it up, right? And you're not tough if, 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 if you're dealing with something that's not physical. And where, you know, when originally our, our junior basketball programs were literally just about basketball skills, like keep your elbow in and shoot this way, and this is how you play defense. And then we morphed those programs into more about physical fitness in addition to basketball skills. And now in the last year, we've added a mental wellness component. It's been incredibly well received by people throughout the country, you know, who, because I know from the letters we get and from the mental health professionals we work with that kids are now coming in and saying, wow, this NBA player is able to, you know, raise their hand and say, you know, I'm suffering, I need help. You know, regular kids feel comfortable doing that so, as well. Um